Hello, welcome to Caesar's Snack Sandwich. Today we're taking a look at 100 Finance again. Now, I did a video on 100 Finance a little while ago and explained the overall idea of 100 Finance. And you can watch that video, I'll put a link to it at the end of this video. But there are some changes now that I need to talk about because they will affect users quite a bit. Now, before I get into those changes, I will mention that this is a sponsored video by the Creator DAO. And if you're a creator and you would like to, a content creator, and you would like to get paid for some of your content, you can check out the link in the description. Or if you're a protocol and you want to get some marketing done like this video, you can also check out that same link in the description. So back to 100 Finance, what are the changes? What's different? But before I get into what's different, let's talk a little bit about what it is. I'll give you a quick, quick view. Now, this is a lending borrowing platform where you supply assets and you can borrow assets against those supplied assets. However, what makes this different is that they are incentivizing only stablecoin deposits and you cannot deposit, you cannot borrow versus your staple coins. So the idea here is that you're going to come with some ETH or some LINK or SUSHI or whatever token you have, and you can borrow stable coins at a cheap APY because nobody is using this to fold and farm these tokens. That's a general idea. Watch the video if you want to know a little bit more about what I'm talking about, you want a better idea, you can watch that video that I link to after this. Now, what are the two changes, the two big changes to this protocol? So first one here, I'm going to talk about this green little box. This is the logo of B Protocol. Now I did do a video on B Protocol. If you want to watch that, you can I'll link to it at the end of this video as well. But B Protocol is basically a, a tool that they helps protocols like this manage their liquidations and give that liquidation value back to the users who supply the uh, the liquidation money. So it kind of gets rid of the whole uh, minor, ext minor extracted value and gas wars and so forth, all kinds of stuff like that. I did a video on it, you can watch that or you can come here and read the, the docs here to understand. There's also a very good Medium article this one here, where it talks a little bit about the benefits of using B protocol for your lending for a lending platform and so forth. So you can read through this too and get a better understanding. But back to here. So what does that mean for a user? That means the user has the option here of backstop, he has the option to take his USDC and supply it to this backstop liquidity pool. And he's then so basically helping to make this protocol more healthy by providing uh, assets that can be used for liquidations. Now, these, uh, this APR here is a, a combined APR of both um, 100 tokens that are incentivized by the 100 uh, finance protocol, as well as liquidation uh, revenue. So if, let's say some money is, some of this USDC in this pool is used to uh, liquidate an, uh, some Ethereum because that position went into liquidation, then that Ethereum will be collected, sold for USDC and re inputted back into this pool here. And the same one for uh, USDT as well, a backstop. So again, it will supply this USDC to to liquidations and then sell the, the the revenue of that back to USDC now as you or USDT. So as you can see, there's only two here. And this is only uh, deployed on Arbitrum. I'm on Arbitrum. So if you're using the phantom version, you won't see any of these B protocol yet. But I assume in the future, they will integrate and add that there as well. So that's the first option, the first new use case on here. And the second one is what they uh, call the 100 token or the 100 staking. So the 100 uh, finance has taken on the VE100, uh, VE token model. Now, basically what that means is you can lock your 100 tokens for some period of time and you can get VE tokens and those VE tokens will allow you to vote and give you some boosted rewards. So if we go over here, um, the if you this this link here will send you there. And if you go go to uh, the vote 100 finance, you can this is where you would bring your 100 tokens. So if you're as you're earning 100 tokens by supplying liquidity, you can use these 100 tokens, stake them here, 
for this different periods of times. So you have these periods of times here, or you can just set some time that you want some specific date. So if you were to supply for four years, you would get the full amount. So just to make it very simple, let's use 100 tokens. So let's say I put one 100 token here and I supplied it for four years, then I would get one VE100 token. Now, if I supplied it for one year, then I would get 0 0.25, 0 0.25 of VE100 tokens. So the longer you stake it, the more VE100 tokens you're going to get. Now, VE100 tokens, these VE100 tokens, they decay linear as the time progresses. So as, you know, as the four years becomes closer to now, as time, you know, as this date gets closer and closer and closer, then you get have less and less and less VE100 tokens in your wallet. And then when you have 0 100 VE100 tokens, then you can claim back your 100 tokens and do with them as you please, whether you, maybe you could restake them or you could sell them or do whatever you want to do with them at that time. Now, why would you want to do this? Two specific reasons. One, you can come here and vote on the gauge. So these are the distribution of the 100 tokens to these different uh, pools. So let's say there are 10,000 100 tokens or 1,000 100 tokens to be given out this week to all of the pools on Arbitron. So you could come here and you can vote on the one that you want to get more. So as you can see, the pie chart is quite heavily on HUSDC right now. However, Frax is going to get a nice big chunk here later. So. <clears throat> next week on the next uh, the next epoch right so you basically you can come by staking some hundred tokens and you can affect the reward distribution of hundred tokens to the pools that you feel are more important or that we should have more incentivization now this wallet and on arbitrum i don't have any staked hundred tokens so there's there's some numbers here that would be pertinent to show but i can explain them to you anyways so if i did have some hundred tokens staked right here and i did have some husdc uh also staked it would show my you know my balance of husdc and the current boost that i'm going to get this boost would be from one percent or one x up to 2.5 x so if we go back over here and we take a look here you can see that there is a range of apys now this range is based on you know how many boost I have. So if I had that 1x, like I just showed you, then I would get 15%. If I had 2.5x, then I would get roughly 40%, right? So it's important to, to check out your boost. And then it'll also show you your APY and so forth. And uh, here basically just shows the, 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 the changes of, uh, of uh, APR based on, on these the, this pie going to this pie chart. So the differences, right? And this also takes into account the amount of liquidity inside the pool. As you can see, there's a lot of HU, uh, USDC and there's not nearly as many fracs. So the APR is going to be quite high based on this number, if this long as this number stays the same and this extra pie chart over here. So, so there is one more thing I need to mention. If we come back here, um, before, if, as long as you're just holding HUSDC and what HUSDC is, if you deposit USDC here, then you get HUSDC in your wallet, right? So in the past, if you hold that HUSDC, then you could just come here and claim your, your 100 tokens. And that's basically the way it still is on uh, Phantom. So, but they're migrating to the, this VE model. So pretty soon you won't get any of these rewards simply by holding just by depositing USDC here. You have to actually come to the farm and stake your HUSDC in here to get those 100 tokens. And then again, through the based on your own boost and so forth, right? So this is important. So like if you're holding HUSDC because you've staked your HUSDC, then you need to consider coming and depositing here and staking it and then you can get this um, you can you know deposit here and then you could also exit your stake as well so stake your HUSDC here to get your hundred token rewards and so you can start to get your share of this uh, this incentivization that is happening so I think that pretty much covers it uh, just to do a quick little like summary and just to refresh everybody those B protocol integration so you can supply to the backstop and get some 
you know, APR based on 100 tokens and based on uh, liquidations. Or you can stake your 100 tokens here. You can vote on the gauges. And again, the gauges are independent on each blockchain and get some boost. And then you can also take your, your supplied tokens and stick them in here in order to get your boost in order for your boost to actually be active on you okay so that pretty much covers it thanks so much for watching and goodbye